number six this will be. Uh, here I am on the set where we uh, yesterday shot a few scenes, uh, well we shot one scene actually in Ami's apartment where uh, the bad guys Karen Masip came with Sani and delivered him so that he could be sold. Um, we had this room, we built it up, uh, now we're gonna tear everything apart so it's gonna be a clean room and then we're gonna make this room look a little bit different. Uh, the last thing that happens in that scene is that uh, Masip takes Sani and goes away with him and puts him in another room and that is the room we are going to build. So all of this will just be, we're gonna start with a blank paper and we're gonna build it up uh, and then we'll get some help from my very good friend Edwin Stian who's a set designer working with me on uh, several productions and it's gonna be very helpful in this. So just you know, t try time to just tear everything apart. Uh, I hope it will be Quite okay. We'll see. So, well, back to work as usual. This is actually a dream coming true for me because a long time since, since a long time ago I always wanted to build my own set uh, <clears throat> to be in a, <clears throat> in a studio and create stuff building uh, working with different materials and you know create my own vision uh, with a with a great thanks to Finn Nemnosia here on Gotland opportunity to do that now. So we have actually, as you have seen, uh, built up these walls uh, and now I'm gonna put concrete on them so we get this rough because I don't want a yellow, I don't want this yellow uh, surface so we're gonna put concrete on the walls and uh, I have never ever done this before in my life. So. I honestly don't know if this is going to work, so it's going to be very fun to see if it works. Um... As you see behind me, it looks a little bit weird. Yeah, I failed. But not in a bad way. Uh, I never worked with concrete before. No. We have a surface that is very shiny. Well, yeah, sort of shiny. So the concrete didn't attach to the wall. Uh, the solution was to make the concrete very much more uh, loose in the consistency, so we could, you know, just paint it on the walls, so it could be like you get this little surface that the concrete then will attach to. But when I did that, I find, found out that. The surface got so incredibly much better uh, than I hoped for, so I have actually decided to not put this thick layer of concrete on. Uh, I will just paint the walls with concrete to make it look even more damp and dank and such. It's gonna be a really bad place, you don't wanna be here. So. I have to put this up on the wall before it dries, but yeah, it's incredible that how, how well, when something goes so incredibly wrong, it can be so incredible right. That's what happened right now. Uh, back to business before this crisis. 